and welcome to this special edition of my setting up to do is series in this episode i'm going to take you through all the new changes that have just occurred in Todoist for Mac and Todoist for iOS. Although I must warn you, I don't have an S, a 6S model of phone, so I won't be able to show you the 3D touch, but I'm sure you'll be able to work that one out yourself. So let's get out of this cold weather and move straight into the studio and let's get to it. Okay, that's much better. It is much warmer in here. Okay, let's get started with the Todoist interface and what changes do we have here in the new version? Well, on the surface, design-wise, there's no changes at all. It's still as clean and clear as ever. However, the biggest change from the interface is something that as long as you have Todoist open on your computer, then you have access to the quick entry window which I featured in a previous episode. To access the quick entry feature is shift command A and you'll notice that this has changed quite significantly. Now we can do so much more with this quick entry um, window so for example I will put in write uh, blog post this week and I can put in my label as usual with the at sign, so at computer. And I can also, <laughs> it's telling me there, I've now discovered intelligent input. I can also flag this by using the P1 for a red flag or, for example, P2 uh, for a uh, orange flag. And one of the features that I really love, and I hope this comes to all functionality in Todoist over the next few months, is I can assign it to a project. And all I need to do there is type in the pound sign, <clears throat> and I get all my projects come up here. So let's put this down into uh, my Medium blog so I can click on that. And all I need to do then is hit return. And... If I go into my areas of focus project here, medium blog, you'll see write blog post this week with computer, everything is there. Uh, I didn't actually put a date, but I'll show you how we can do that. So shift command A, uh, write another blog post and at computer and at iPad because I tend to write sometimes on my iPad and we'll put that in my... Uh, medium blog post and on Saturday. So now if we go in there, write another post, it's come up with at Saturday. I didn't flag it but I could have flagged it. So that's what the biggest new feature in the actual Todoist interface is. Now let me take you to the Safari, um, the new Safari um, extension which you'll see up here on the left hand side. Now I've taken you to one of my favorite musical bands above and beyond. Now let's imagine that I want to keep a track on their tour dates so all I click on their tour and that will take me to their tour dates. Now in the past I would have had to have copied and pasted the link to this website. Now all I have to do is click on the button up here add to Todoist, it comes up with the website and if I wanted to now I could uh, move so I could say check this uh, website uh, and I can put at computer or at internet um, every month oops every month and add that in that will go into my inbox because I didn't assign it to it. so check this website and now all I have to do tour dates above and beyond it's absolutely brilliant uh, you can also do this with um, typing for text so if I wanted to highlight this one so in Las Vegas and I click on Todoist it now keeps the website plus my highlighted text just to remove that if you change your mind you just press escape and it disappears uh, really, really cool trick in to do it. So this intelligent input, I will do more about it in a later episode, but this is really, really useful. 
So there's my quick overview of the Safari extension and the new interface in the new updated version for Mac. I suggest you download it today, update your system. I will cover iOS in another episode because there's a few new features in that as well. So I hope you find that really useful. Don't forget to join me in the next episode, um, or the next real episode, episode 20, where I go through the top 10 features I use in Todoist. So until next time, thanks for watching.